Hey what's going on guys, Arax here, welcome back to another video for Animal Crossing New Horizons and today I want to talk about the most recent update 1.2 that went live. This is the update that brought Leaf and Red to the villages, they will now visit, they'll sell you some stuff and there's also the Nature Day event which is a chance to kind of you know get some cool items and also get some more Nook Miles in the process. So in this video I want to go over everything you need to know to get started with this update. Of course if you guys do enjoy this then a like would be super appreciated and comment down below and let me know what you guys think of of this so far. Now to begin with, the very first thing that will happen when you come out of your door, you'll have a couple of letters, one from Nintendo and one from the Bank of Nook, which is a uh I feel like getting a letter from the Bank of Nook is like getting a letter from the taxman. Basically what they've done in this update is they have reduced the amount of interest you get by leaving your money in the bank. I think the reason for that is of course because it's just so easy to get a lot of money in this game through turnips and tarantula island and things like that. People are pretty rich in this game so they've adjusted the only one thing they can really control. Anyway, that aside, they also gave us a little present. And if you go into your house, then from the Bank of Nook, we got a little rug, which is actually a uh, bag of bells, which looks kind of cool. If you want to have like that sort of ultimate baller pad and have like a money rug on the floor, then this is the item you need. And also from Nintendo, they gave us a world map. Now, of course, on top of that, there is the Nature Day event. So if you open up your Nook Miles app, you will, of course, see there are special limited time Nature Day activities. These will also give you additional Nook Miles, the things to look out for. But more importantly, the very first thing you want to do is run over to the plaza because here you will find Leaf, who sells you a few different things. He sells you some shrubs or shrubbery, and he also sells you some kind of exclusive plants that you can't get from your regular Nook shop. So basically, you can chat to him. You can also sell him weeds for a higher rate. So if you have like a ton of weeds on your island and you want to get rid of them, then you can sell them to him for a little bit more money, although you might want to kind of hang on to your weeds for like additional items later on. But either way, speak to him. You can get bushes, you can get shrubs, and then you can go and plant them around your island. Pretty cool. Also, it's worth noting you want to go and speak to Tom Nook because he'll also give you a crafting recipe, one of those sort of like nature day ones. So there's a new item you can craft. Basically, you can create your own hedges. So, you know, while you can buy shrubs, if you want to create like hedges as like walls to kind of create your own maze or something like that, then you can get that recipe from him. However, the next big thing for those of you guys that want to get red so you can start buying stolen artwork or you know legitimate artwork and put it into the museum then there's a little process involved in here so if you guys want to work out what you need to do it will take you a few different days to kind of get to everything and unlock everything but for those of you wondering how you can begin it and where you need to go and what you need to do then these are the necessary steps the very first thing you want to do is you want to go and run over to your island and speak to blathers he will then tell you upon speaking to him that he's been thinking of expanding the museum and adding a new art wing so you need to go and speak to him to kind of begin this process if you don't necessarily have this message come up then you just need to make sure you've donated sufficient things to him but generally speaking provided you've been doing that most people upon speaking to him today should get the text prompt or the kind of conversation saying that he wants to add an art wing. So after you've done that that's basically begun the series of events to get red showing up on your island and selling artwork. What will then happen is the next day Isabel will greet you with your typical daily welcome message and she will say that there is a shady figure wandering around the islands supposedly kind of selling questionable artwork and whatnot. So what you then need to do is wander around your island and find Red. And upon speaking to him, he will then, you know, he'll kind of give you the little ton of mafia style spiel about kind of you becoming his family and whatnot. And he'll try and sell you a painting at first for a ridiculous price, but he'll then give you a cousin discount and sell it for a measly price of 4,980 bells. What you then need to do is buy the painting from him and then take that painting and donate it to Blathers. That will then begin the museum upgrade process because of course, if you guys saw the update video from Nintendo, you'll know that the museum itself gets an upgrade but in order to do that what you need to do is deliver the first painting to him and upon doing that he will then tell you that he's now going to shut up the museum and get it ready to upgrade so a day will pass he'll then close the museum for upgrades then the next day after that the museum will open and you'll then have the upgraded art wing you can go and speak to him you can go to the back of the stairs that is basically where or what the stairs were for beforehand you go to the top of the stairs that is the art gallery and whatever painting you got from red it seems to be different for every different person i got the mona lisa you you go over there and that will be on display and now what you do when you leave there if you open up your map you will see that on every single island there's kind of like a secret beach so to speak like a small beach at the back of your island this is where red will set up his boat so you'll also be able to see this because every time you open the map there'll actually be an icon to indicate that he is there it is worth noting however that once the museum has been upgraded before you can go into his boat if you go over there first it will say you know this looks like a shady boat i'm not sure i should go in without permission what you then need to do is wander around your island and somewhere red will be there again so speak to him he could be anywhere so just you know run around but he will definitely be there 
speak to him and he will then say that he's ready to sell you stuff, he wants you to come and see it. The screen will then fade to black, he'll disappear, he'll go to his boat and you can then go back to the secret beach, go to the boat, go inside and he will then sell you the artwork. Now on a daily basis you can only buy one piece of art, you can also inspect it because sometimes it can be fake. I'll be honest, I'm not an art expert, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for so I couldn't tell whether I've got a fake or a real one but either way you can inspect them, you can buy one piece of art per day but he does also sell furniture and you can buy as much of that as he has as you want. So you can buy those and then he'll post it to you the next day and you can make your donations to Bladders. And that, my friends, is pretty much it for the time being. So that's a rundown of everything you need to know about the 1.2 update. Don't forget to buy your stuff from Leaf. Don't forget to do your Nature Day activities. And of course, don't forget to uh, start working towards getting red on your island. If you guys have any questions, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, keep it locked for plenty more Animal Crossing videos. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys wanna chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.